Well, hello everyone, it's Annette here, Fairy Dust Nails. It's a very windy afternoon here in Johannesburg, Gauteng, South Africa. And uh, a good time. Whoops! Hey, I bumped my camera. I'm so sorry. Um, it's a good time to maybe sit down and make a video or two. There's um, holidays coming up and a lot of people want uh, some uh, spooky and gory, scary nails. So let's see what we can do this afternoon. I'm going to start and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use. I've got a gel black. I've got a gel white, I've got a gel light grey, and I've got a gel in a dark grey. So, I'm going to give these nails a coat, and then we will take it from there. Then we'll decide what we're going to do. Okay, so now I've just got my supplies ready, and I've actually put gel on these tip. My very fine liner brush. I've also got my other liner brush. This is the 10 millimeter. It's a little bit longer. I've also got that ready. Then I've also got a normal gel brush ready. I've got my Aquarol ink cherry and black also ready. So now we're going to start by doing a little bit of nail art. Okay. I'm going to show you on this white one. One of the nails that I like has a little bit of an accent nail. And I'm just going to use um, my Cherry Aquarelle ink. I basically start just dabbing it everywhere. You'll see. It makes these different shades as you touch it I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit more There we go. I've just touched it with a brush everywhere. And I'm going to try and zoom in a bit. And that is the effect that you have. It's like a very dark, marbly kind of thing. It looks like a fingernail full of blood. Okay, so that one is done. We're going to leave it as it is and then just top coat it. But we're going to wait for the Aquarol ink to dry. I'm just going to put it one side. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one. Okay, and I'm such a liar. I've also brought in some orange. It's not basically orange, it's more like a brownie color. So I'm going to take... The other, let's take the grey nail. Okay, we're going to use this one. Okay, so now we want to kind of get a pumpkin shape. Now we're just filling it in. Okay, so I'm just going to cure this for 30 seconds. And there we go. That is done. 
So now I've taken a little plate and I've mixed a very bright orange or I've put down a, uh, on the little plate a very bright orange and a light orange. So I'm going to mix until I can get a little bit of a more subtly orange need. See, there we go. That's more like a, a yellowy orangey color. That's more like a pumpkin color. That's it. And then I'm going to paint it in like the sections of a pumpkin. So there we go. Can you see there's a bit of a shading there? That is awesome. Okay, so now we're just going to cure it quickly. Okay, so there that's cured. Now I'm going to take my black uh, uh, acrylic paint. So I'm going to just draw a leaf. Yeah, and I want, I don't want it green because we don't want it, um, you know, like a real pumpkin. We want to make it look scary. That's why we're going to put a black leaf here. And a pumpkin leaf actually looks something like this. Then we'll also do a, a little stalk. Out of the pumpkin. Grows by having these little swirly, swirly little twigs that While we wait for that to dry, we will draw one eye. We will draw another eye and then we will have a mouth but seeing that it's on a um, sharp nail we're not going to be able to do all the teeth and all the you know the whole mouth so we're gonna go like this
thing when it dries we can just fill it in to make it look more black And it looks scary, doesn't it? So on this little finger, while we're waiting for that one to dry, we will make a bloodshot eye. I'm just taking some white gel. Gel. There we go. I'm sure we'll get three out of here. Okay, and we're going to cure these. Okay, so I've raised the pumpkin a little bit with boulder gel. And now I'm just going to top coat it. It's actually frizzled up. So now I'm going to use that to my advantage because that's actually what I wanted. Because as soon as you do gel to thick and it's not cured properly and you take it out into the cold or away from the light, then it actually does this. So there we've got the little bit of the blue there. So now I'm just going to cure it and then I'll show you how we put in these veins. Good stuff. So we're done with that one while that other one is curing again. I'm just wiping off the sticky layer. Okay, so now what are we going to do with this one? I'm going to, this is the one that we've done with the Aquarol ink. Let's use this one for me to show you how I actually make bats doesn't matter what whichever you prefer okay so i make a little circle like that take down a little end like that now i normally just draw two little horns like that okay cure this quickly so that it doesn't run and three okay then it is one two and three there we go now i just fill it in oops there's two bats on this now i'm just going to cure them quickly give them some yellow eyes like that then that kind of looks scary we're just giving them some legs pure but that is the way it is because we are working with gel so Let's 
carry on with the spider web. And the eyes are done. There we go. Okay, let's top coat the bats. Oops, I nearly dropped them. There we go. That one is done. Now let me finish this one. Are these a little? There's the bats. So far we have eyes, blood nail, pumpkin, bats. Getting a little bit of a a diamante. There we go. It's cured. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my gem gel. There we go. I'm going to cure this and we will be ready to top coat. We're just going to top coat the little spider. Make sure that the gem is, don't paint the gem. And there we go. I will show you a revealing picture. Have a fantastic day. Chat to you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.